All right. Where do we start with this piece? Oh my goodness. Isn't it just amazing? All right, so let's begin. Let's look at the, the opal. All right, so this is a boulder opal. Um, there are eight things that determine the value of an opal. You have what type it is, brightness, pattern, color, shape, tone, transparency, and thickness. So um, brightness is number one. Okay, so you can see it's really, really bright. It's um, got blue greens, um, a very popular color. Now, the, it's it's all a little bit. Um, how can we say this? It can get quite complicated uh, if you if you overthink it. The best way of thinking about value is you've got to compare it to artwork. Now, how compelling is this? Is this opal? So it's natural. So the main thing to think about number one is natural. So it's like an original painting. It's not like a doublet or a triplet where it's just like they're like copies of, of of famous paintings a solid opal is is 100 natural so you know how compelling is it look at it it's followed the contour of the stone so that's why this opal is so um <laughs> undulating because um our jewelers just follow the contour of the actual opal look at it it's just something you just want to keep looking at get color from every angle Okay, now, this is set in platinum, all right, with, with, with little bits of gold um, going around the, the highlighting the diamonds at the side here. You can actually sparkle. It feels so heavy. There's so much weight there. Look at the diamonds. It's sparkling. And then we've got just some of the details in here about um, about uh, the platinum, how many diamonds there are, the weight, the carat weight of the stone. So 1.15 carat of diamonds, 13.15 uh, carats of, of opal, um, 18 carat plus platinum. It's, it's hard. You, you can't get it across the weight. You know, it's got it's um, got quite a bit of weight here. Now, uh, this is not something that we're going to be able to resize. Um, so, and but it, but we we when we do get people actually trying it uh, in the shop, it, it does fit a lot of people's hands, so fingers. So, um, it's it's the most common size, and it just is quite comfortable as well because it's such a large, large size. But wow. Wow, wow, wow. Isn't that just amazing? Truly special. Queensland, Boulder Opal. If I had um, $50,000 to buy an opal, it's, it wouldn't be a black opal. It would be a Boulder Opal. So it's my favorite type of opal, and it just is absolutely compelling.